a must-see attraction in West Michigan, is officially opening to the public tonight. It is the Grand Rapids Lantern Festival at the John Ball Zoo, and 1300 side meteorologist Michael Barons is there live at the zoo. Michael, very cool stuff. Yeah, absolutely great out here at the zoo. Beautiful exhibit to take in, and it's not just the lanterns, too. They do have some live entertainment, yes. and I'm here with uh, Minnie Mori. She is the executive director for the West Michigan Asian American Association, and she's here with the Pacific Island Dancers tonight. So tell me a little bit about what you guys are and how you got involved. Oh, well, the West Michigan Asian American Association, well, we... we we're involved ever since last year. This was in the making for about a year, the planning by the zoo, and connected with me about doing this. But I, at the time, you know, I wasn't sure what, how spectacular this exhibit's going to be until now. When I looked at all these exhibits, you have to come and, and watch all the designs. Um, so we connected. Uh, the different diverse cultural groups who are actively performing, um, you know, we're diverse Asian communities. So each night there will be featuring a different cultural group. Uh, there will be, uh, last night was the Lotus Boys who did the line dance, and then there will be a Korean drum group from the Kalamazoo area. There will be the Hmong dancers from Lansing, then the local groups like ours, uh, we do the Filipino and Hawaiian dances, and then the Golden Tiger Kung Fu Academy will also be here. So it'll be great. So lots of different dances, lots of different groups out here performing. And speaking of which, tonight you guys are doing a Hawaiian dance. Yes, aloha! <laughs> so I'll get out of the way and I'll let you guys get started. Taking more of the Pacific Island dancers and of course the Lantern Festival here at John Ball Zoo. It opens tonight at 7 o'clock. Reporting at John Ball Zoo, meteorologist Michael Behrens, 13 on your side.